Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Flint, guys. As always, it's your boy Metal Flint here. And so, I just watched tonight, Metal Night Raw. It was one heck of a show. Heck, even Ric Flair and Christian Big Show came. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm, so I'm, so I'm, so I'm going to rate that, that, the show right there a 10. I'm getting this graded as a 10. So, yeah. Or 100. I'm going to give it to 100, though. So, without further ado, so... We just freaking heard that Kevin Owens. So let's go ahead and get to the reviews and stuff like that. So Andrade and Garza was having a tension between them, and Zelina Vega tells them to fight together, not each other, as they both want to want the same thing. But also Kevin Owens defeated Angel Garza if it wasn't for Andrade. So what I'm saying, and then all of a sudden, that you know, Andrade and then they had an argument going on and on. As Lena Vega don't want it no more, it's about it's all all they do. She just came back out of nowhere and just said they, they need to stop fighting. And also, uh, Bobby Lashley wanted the force. Yeah, he wants a divorce between Lana and them. But um, but um, yeah. Bobby MVP and Bobby Lashley, they just came out to address Lashley's loss to Drew McIntyre in the, in the WWE Championship at Backlash. Yes, it did happen. They blamed Lana for interrupting the, the law for the loss and and said McIntyre should give given a rematch right away. Lana come out and said is trying to take advantage of his business relationship with Lashley, and she and Lashley had a hot streak. Going on when they were together for matches, as Lashley agrees and wants a divorce. Well, you know what though, I'm just thinking like maybe that's that's the end of the relationship between LeBron and Lana. Though, so yeah, so maybe she she should go out with Rusev again. Yep. But also, guys, the Rock Jackson champions, the Street Puppets, and the Viking Raiders defeated the night the Ninja. Bikers and um yeah, as I call it up the war the war prophets, but also the big show somehow takes but also the big show can't took takes out some ninjas at top and a tall one retreats. So are they actually gonna do big show versus the big ninja? So that's what I'm gonna see. <laughs> and also doing some rallies. Trying to trying to talk to him Mysterio. Dominic came out of nowhere and attacked Seth Rollins and managed to escape before Murphy and Austin Theory could get their hands on him. And also, uh, and also, uh, guys, uh, Bobby Lashley and MVP versus Drew McIntyre and the 24/7 Champion Truth will now be able to take all match with both titles on the line. No, I mean, for real, that could really happen. It, it, I think that would, that would be awesome. And also, guys, the Iconics defeated the Liv Morgan and Tyler. After the match, the Iconics called out Bailey and Sasha Banks and challenged them to a match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship on next week's Raw. And also, the Big Show gave Kristen some advice on if he should accept Brandon as challenge. I think he, I, you know, when I watch the show, I'm thinking that he can. He can accept Randy Orton's challenge. The partnership between Natalia and Lana teased. Natalia blamed Liv Morgan for their loss, and Morgan just walked away. Natty talked about how she built the women's division, only to get disrespected by everyone. Lana appeared and said that she was moving on TV by Lashley. Natty said that she knows exactly what Lana's going through. Well, is this a tag team um, between, um, you know, um, Natalia and Lana? And also, Kristen got interviewed by Charlie Caruso and also accepted a match at Randy Orson's challenge. I mean, for real, though. I mean, like, I, I keep telling them he has to accept it because he, uh, he beat Randy Orton last time, man. MVP offered to be a dirty, the United, United States champion of Paul Cruz manager, but Apollo Cruz 
turned down the offer, as also the Falcons defeated Shelton Benjamin by holding their ropes. Big for a shallow throw in the backstage segment. What what the next plan is? And Charlotte said that that she does what she wants. She can do whatever she wants to do. That's what I'm saying. And also during the backstage with our truth, a kid once comes in with his ninja and a ninja referee as he wants our truth's twenty four seven title. But they leave after seeing the Drew team, the WWE champion Drew McIntyre behind our truth. Man, I mean, for real, everybody be scared of Jim McIntyre, man. I mean, like, everybody is freaking scared of Jim McIntyre. Come on, now. And thanks to our truth, the only WWE, only the WWE Championship is now on the line and on tonight's tag team match. And also, Christian and Randy Orton is not, and also, Christian and Randy Orton was the main event of tonight's Raw. Heck yeah. Big Show pushed in an idea that the Street Profits versus the Viking Raiders for the t- Raw Tag Team Championship should happen on next week's Raw. So, well, what's the plan is going to be, though? I don't know what the plan will be, but I'm thinking maybe it's going to be a plan of something. That's what I'm thinking. But also, the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre and the 24-7 Champion all truth defeated Bobby Lashley and MVP to retain their titles. Rick Flair tried, and also in the backstage with Christian, Rick Flair tried talking Christian out of his match against Randy Orton, but Christian still wants a piece of Orton. Also, the Raw, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match will has officially made official for next week's Raw as the WWE Women's Tag Team Champion Sasha and the SmackDown Women's Champion Bailey comes out and they celebrate Bailey's birthday, but the iconic interrupt as Perry Royce and Bailey can mock Bailey and Sasha for having meltdowns last year. Perry Royce slapped Sasha and Bailey agreed to their challenge for a Women's Tag Team title match. For next week's Raw. Well, I cannot wait. I'm thinking, but I, I'm still going for Bailey and Sasha, though, because I know they're going to retain their title, though, man. And also, guys, the other updated news right now is that Ray Mysterio will return to next week's Monday Night Raw. And also, Oscar defeated Nia Jax to retain the World Women's Championship as a referee did a fast count. And also, Ric Flair turned heel on Christian in the main event of Raw. In the main event of tonight's Raw, the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion Christian came out of retirement for an unsanctioned match against Randy Orton during the ring introduction. Two-time WWE Champ Hall of Famer Ric Flair music hit. He came out, of, out to the ring. Ric Flair took the mic and told Christian not to do this. Christian said he has to do this. To do this, and then Flair Raw brought him, and Randy Orton then hit Christian with a punt kick and laid him out. Orton then safely turned him over and pinned him as Randy Orton defeated Christian. Well, guys, that was it for tonight's review of Monday Night Raw. So, yeah, I wonder what's gonna happen on next week's Raw, though, man. So, make sure, yes. Yes, but, but, but yeah, what she said. And also, make sure you guys please like this video, subscribe to my channel, or if you guys are new to, to this YouTube family, make sure you guys please subscribe to my channel. As always, guys, make it for not you guys. Please.